Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for S2 Member. I uh, decided to go ahead and just do a quick video here. Uh, I just received an email from Christian pointing me to this thread and uh, this person is asking a very good question. Uh, she mentions the fact that she's seen dozens of people joining her community but only a few of them are actually making it into her Aweber list. Is that something normal? Uh, so I'm going to just kind of go over a couple of things that I would check on here uh, if you see that uh, happening on your site. There's a couple of things that you might want to take a look at in your configuration uh, of both S2 member and also of Aweber. So I'm going to switch tabs here real quick. This is an, S, uh, an installation of S2 member and I'm on the uh, API list server section. So if you go to your S2 member menu, scroll down to API list servers, and you can open up your uh, Aweber list server integration panel. The first thing I'd, I'd want to check on is what do these configuration fields contain? Uh, unlike levels in uh, S2 member, which work incrementally, where a free subscriber has access to level zero, and then level one would have access to level zero and level one, level two would have access to level one and zero. So in S2 member, levels are incremental. However, with this Aweber integration, they are not operating, they're not operating on that concept. These are broken down so that you can have different lists at each different level. In other words, if you have a list called My List at Aweber, and you have people joining as, as free subscribers, and you may have people joining at level 1, 2, 3, and 4, then each of these boxes needs to contain the list that you want these members subscribed to at Aweber. Now, in this case, I've just filled them all with the same list. If you have multiple lists, like if, if you want to have a separate list for each different level, you can do that. And you would just change, like I might have my list 0, my list 1, my list 2, my list 3. So you could do it like something like this, or you could just have them all in the same one. Now, it is also possible to have for example, level one, subscribe to a default list that covers all aspects of your site. So I might have something like default, and then I might have another one that would be called level one. So you can comment to limit these so that whenever a member joins or pays for access to your site at level one, they will be subscribed to both of these, uh, both of these lists. Another thing that I would take a look at, I'm going to switch tabs again here and take you over to my Aweber account. Uh, here in the My List panel under List Settings, uh, you can click on this Confirmed Opt-in tab. And just to note that the integration between S2 Member and Aweber does not bypass the important rules that are established by Aweber. Even though you're checking the box on your registration form initiates the subscription at your Aweber account, your customer or your free subscriber will always need to click the confirmation link in the email that they receive after the registration is completed in order for them to, them to actually confirm acceptance for, be, for being added to your list. So one of the important things to do is to come here and customize this message so that it's very clear and concise about what the what you want the potential subscriber to do in this confirmation email. Oftentimes it's, it's a good idea to put uh, something extra in here that's specific to your site. Um, identifying this email as being from you in response to a particular action so that they see, oh yes, I, I remember I checked the box here on this form. So you might have something here that, re that reads, you know, your registration was just completed uh, at Acme Corporation. Uh, whenever you registered here, and now we need you to complete this sign up. You know, something along those lines so that the, so that your customer can identify with what they had just uh, filled out there on your site. Now, I believe it's possible here, although I don't recommend it, I believe it's possible to, to not require this double opt-in. Uh, so you could click this. You'll get a warning from Aweber. I've never actually done this myself because I really don't recommend doing this. Uh, if you turn this off, in other words, if, if you don't make it a requirement that your subscribers confirm via email, uh, I would be leery of doing that in lieu of getting a lot of spam complaints and eventually having problems with Aweber. 
uh, in terms of whether your account is going to remain in an active status or not. I've had some some experience with this in the past on from other companies, and uh, they have uh, pretty much a zero tolerance level on this kind of thing. So turning this off is not recommended, but I believe that option is available here. So you can give it a shot if you'd like. All right, so thanks for a great question. I hope this helps. And uh, if you check over those couple of things and nothing changes, uh, what could be happening is just simply people are not confirming. Uh, there is a, a, a drop-off rate. Not everybody follows through uh, with confirming and this, uh, clicking this confirmation link. Uh, I've seen it uh, as low as 20% before. It just depends on uh, the type of site that you're running, uh, how clear the instructions are, and the type of traffic that your site uh, is bringing in. Okay, so again, thank you for a great question, and thanks, Christian, for bringing this to my attention.